is a fuse with plug out of a steam boiler. It's actually out of a Sentinel steam wagon boiler. It's basically a bronze plug with a threaded hole down the centre which is filled up with lead. Normally when this is in use in the boiler it's covered over by water. If the water level becomes too low this gets hot, the lead melts and allows the water and steam that's in the boiler to blow through and put the fire out. That's basically what it is. It's a, a safety device fitted to all or most steam boilers. What we're going to do today is renew the lead inside the plug. First thing to do is to warm it up and melt the lead out. That's the, the lead removed from the plug. What I'll do now, I'll get a tap and clean the clean the holes out with a tap. Right, the thread in these is actually 7 16 width worth. Put a tap through just to clean the threads up there for nice and shiny. All it's done is clean them up. Another one, which is the same thread. All the thread does is give the, the lead some of the grip do. We've got some soldering flux here. It's actually what they call Baker's fluid. It's basically hydrochloric acid with zinc dissolved in it. It's old fashioned but it works. I'm going to warm these up, coat the threads and then put a little a tin of ordinary solar into them just to tin the threads and then we'll fill them with ordinary lead. Right, so we've got the threads in the inside the plugs nicely tinned, nicely coated with solder. Next thing to do is melt the lead and pour the molten lead into them. Right, 
a little crucible there and melted in that. All the dross and impurities float to the top of the, the mould on the leg. Right, so that's pissing at the bottom fast and I can pour it in. So I'm going to need to pour, stand these in some sand. Obviously I'm wearing gloves, I've got eye protection on, it looks nice and tame but molten lead can give you a real nasty burn. Right, I've cleaned the plug up a little bit just on the, on the wire wheel, actually looks like top of that not bronze. Anyway, I just want to face the end, just dress it up. Nice. This rubber should be pressure tested before it's put into service. I'll just dress the other end up as well. I 
concept of machine lead before, parsnips and turnip maybe, but not, not lead. It's a nice tape, I'd thread that. It certainly looks more like bronze there when you see it freshly machined. Got a hydraulic test pump here that was actually a, fr a present of my daughter. They used it for testing coffee machines or whatever, and it wasn't used anymore. So, what I'll do, I'll use that to test these fusible plugs which just filled with lead for no reason other than I've got the gear and I might as well use it. I've never used the pump before. Put some PTFE tape on the thread. It's a tape I thread this. I think in the olden days they would have used hemp and graphite but I haven't got any hemp and graphite so I'll just use PTFE Let's fill the system with water water doesn't compress we'll screw that at the end there now the working pressure on the boiler of the Sentinel is 250 psi the test pressure will be one and a half times that Pressure rising, 100, 200, we. There's 400, a good 400 psi. Nothing's happening, I didn't expect anything to happen. But we'll take a lot of pressure to blow that plug out of there, to blow the lead plug out. Test you that one mate as well. Well I'll put the bastard thing there. Once again, PTFE tape. Pressure has dropped slightly because we've got a little leak just where the fitness screwed in. A lot of pressure on there. Sitting at 450 there very comfortably. And so I'll hope to give them back to Richard. I need to Screw it into his boiler. 